I am a, you know, a quiet and very much reserved person. You know, a different personality from what you would have seen me online. So, you know, the Sasha and the Gabe teaser is basically two different personalities. So for people who don't know, you, you, you perform in porn. Mm -hmm. How did you get involved in that? How did you start? Um, and when? Mm, it was around COVID time, you know. <laughs> COVID make everybody turn adult content creator. Yeah, so it was COVID time and, you know, no, so no source of income. So I turned to porn. And, you know, I tried it out. Didn't like it at first, but I did have some idea behind the porn industry because I used to be a camera a couple of years before you know only fans so it was pretty much easy and then i got into porn and then love it what's a regular day for you like I'm a pretty much a regular regular boring person my boring so all right when we get up you know, they're on my phone or we'll be working online or something and just, that's just basically it. You know, cook, clean, my wife material, you know. Yeah, so yeah, pretty much it my day would be like. A lot of your videos mm -hmm. are, you just roll up somewhere yes. and find somebody. Mm -hmm. Firstly, is that real? Is that a complete stranger? It's real. It's the stranger. It's, it's real. a stranger. Yeah, that's what I make my name for myself, like doing content with random stranger that's why i'm unique so, how yeah. did you how you how, how did you come up with that idea you know it was uh it was one year ago because the the police video that i did was february so you know february make one year now so when i just get up one day i was talking to a friend of mine and i said what content would i do would make me stand out would make jamaica know me as you know see me and know say, oh that's the girl from some sort of video so i was like hmm I went to Lee's parking lot. I was walking up for like 30 minutes to an hour looking for a car that, you know, and then I saw a, a car and then I went over there and it was history from there. So, and then the police video was my first actually random and then everybody gravitated to it. And then from there, we started a random content. What did you expect to find when you say you want, you're starting a random, you're just stopping with a random person? It's not to find, it's just the excitement of it. Like you meet somebody, hey, I want to do this to you right now. And it's not like so they're going to turn you down. You know, the only part of when I say I'm um, a safety and that's the only thing I would mostly think of. But I do see it with a positive mind and just that's just it. Just that's that energy. <laughs> right. <laughs> so those safety concerns, um, were, you, were you afraid that... Um, this person would take advantage of you or um, would get an illness or something? No, I don't think about that, to be honest. You don't think about it? Mm -mm, Why I not? I don't. Um, may I do it, what may I do is with faith. So, you know, may I do it with faith. So I'm not thinking about the negative part of it. Okay. Basically, yeah. So there, there aren't any re um, precautions that you take to ensure your safety in that regard? Not really. <laughs> so, <Shana. laughs> oh my god. Why not? <laughs> I mean, I do the safety after, like, get tested after, but before, that's what made my content unique. Like, you go right into it, risk it. You're risking it for the biscuit. Come on. So, this is full, real, authentic. Full, real, authentic. Jamaican porn. Um, is there anything that someone has done in one of these videos that you're like, no, 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 never again? No, not, I have not had any bad experience so far. Really? Holy, it, was, it wouldn't be a bad experience because I did a video with this soldier guy in Barbados, which was the most riskiest one of all my content because he almost got in trouble. So he wanted me to delete the content, which no content that I do right now because you agreed and you're not gonna just have it for the phone and be like oh like delete the footage i what blah, 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 blah. so that's you know but that's over with and done so i don't what they call it you know. yeah so he wanted it deleted deleted after. it and he agreed before you know i yeah, meet you and we agreed and you get what you get and i get what i get is the footage and then you start getting cold feet because i posted the image and the image went viral. 
I, I either have to um, blur out his knuckles, everything, just to not get, you know, and post it, take a long while to post the video because he wanted to do it. I'll be like, no, this is not how it works. Because, you know, yes. How, how, how often does that happen? First? That's what was the only... That's the only time someone mm -hmm. has ever said, no, don't post it? Yeah, that was the only time. When you're out, I buy your groceries when I sat there, mm -hmm. or just I like, get your cleaning supplies or something. Do people recognize it? Yes, and they stare. And that caused me to go on the road less now, because, you know, it's kind of weird because you're doing, you're advertising sex. And when people see you up on the road, especially men, they be like, oh, you know, I have two encounters so far. They be like, um, some other money, you know, you know, what you can't do for me, mama. Like, they, that's how they are. <laughs> Like um, they actually see me. Like you can say hi. I'm not offering service on the road. No. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> They'd be like, yeah, that's how they approach me. Well, everybody see me as a fantasy, whether you are male or female, and that's what one of the things that affect me with wanting a relationship and being who I am, a porn star. I don't think I would ever actually find love until I get out of this field. And even if I get out of this field. You know, it's like still like I have something lingering if me if I find somebody. You know, so if I'm on approach me right now, I just feel like saying more something way more fulfilling at the bedroom. Where him thinks that me can give it. So yeah. That's such a sad, a sad It's very existence. sad. Sometimes it's you know, it's very sad, to be honest. You you spoke a little bit that, that your DMs is wild. What's the wildest message you've ever received thus far? What's the wildest message I ever received? Um What's the wildest? Hmm. I think I'm gonna call it wild, but a man messaged me one time say he worked at a specific place, and, which is corporate, big, big, big place though. And him and him friend them, it's a fun, and they would like to do a gangbang. I wouldn't think that is a wildest, but I'm just thinking of something right now. Yeah, he wanted to do a gangbang with me and four of his male friends and that would be an interesting content that he said so so he wanted to start in the video <laughs> <laughs> yeah he wanted to i think that would it would have been a while as but that's something yeah so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing people think you're an expert at sex too right like i'm let me know i'm get expert <laughs> they see me do but you know they see me doing porn i'm like i don't know people gravitate to me for for some reason, I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe because my have the glasses, I'm mean, look, you know, I don't know. What do you think your glasses adds to you? I think it adds something to it. Like, when people see me, like, especially when they message me, maybe like, you have a look. But I don't know what type of look you have. But I feel like I have the glasses and I'm mean, going wear makeup in my video. I really wear makeup in my porn videos. So it's like, it's a natural way of doing what I'm doing. You know, not trying to look beautiful for the camera. Just go there, rag them up in. Just pick bed, put on clothes, take up my camera. Oh my God, it's so, you know, natural type. So, I don't know. I think as people see you as an expert, how, how would you rank yourself? Do you think you're good in bed? I am good in bed. Who tell you that? Who tell myself that? How you know? Because me know, like, come on, I'm done for anything. Like, otherwise from doing you know sexual acts to a man and you know it's like i would say i know if i do everything and i'm good at what i do mm -hmm. yes do you think toys play an integral role in the bedroom i think it's it, not necessary it, it is it 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 plays a very much good role especially for the man them that don't go down that burn out eating the vagina if you don't do those stuff or don't plan to do those stuff, I think toys is a very much option to please your man in the bedroom. With our vibrator, the rose is a very popular one. You know, something for spice things up in the bedroom. If you want your man for stay. <laughs> I, I, I saw on another interview that you did that people, you were talking a lot about anal. You know, is, that, is that something that you find Jamaicans are lying about their enjoyment they with? They are lying about it. And it's so weird, like why would you lie? Like even when they were bashing me on the page, lots of them, so many of them subscribe, oh, 
<laughs> Sorry, I said this because a lot of them was in the comment section saying, Oh, but not that. Because I said Jamaican men are into it. Be like, Oh, they're not Jamaican, then they're from Cuba. And a lot of them was being like, But, and a lot of these females too was saying, And them see a man into these type of stuff. Mm -hmm. And men these days mostly into anal. And them like, they not go down. Like, what does that, that not even make sense? Oh, are you into that but you don't go down so most men are into you know these days why do you love doing porn why do i love doing porn all right there is the, the honest answer would be i love doing porn because it's a survival and the reason i would say survival because me doing porn making me survive so that's why i would love something that would make me survive